Okay, so today's uh, tutorial is going to be on how to take a title like this and turn it into a motion graphics template for Premiere. That way, you can give this uh, you can give this template to your editor, and they can edit everything that they need to, be it the color scheme or the text in Premiere without having to jump into After Effects at all. They don't even need to know how to use After Effects. So this is different from, say, using Dynamic Link where you right-click on a clip, you know, edit in or make a After Effects composition, brings the clip into After Effects, and then you go ahead and edit it. This is different from that in that your editor never has to touch uh, After Effects, which is great. So let's just jump into it. Um, I've already made a tutorial on how to make a title like this that dynamically changes with the size of the text so go ahead and I'll put a link to that tutorial in the description but um, we're just gonna start from when you have your title so it's actually super easy um, go up to window and then essential graphics then I'll bring up this panel and just select your uh, composition we're working with example 2 and for the uh, purpose of this I'm going to delete all these okay so we have this this is what it will look like it'll just be a blank uh, panel here so it's really easy you just take your see this is my text layer this this corresponds with this text and all I have to do is go to the source text drag it up here and it'll put it there and then I like to name label it so that my editor will know what it is so I'll label this one name and then uh, with text layers you gotta put a color overlay uh, property because for some reason Adobe did not include any other uh, color properties that you can drag into here so if I want my editor to be able to adjust the color of the name I just do right click layer styles uh, color overlay and then I can grab this color and throw it in there and then I can na label this name color and then I'll just do the same thing with the other text layer uh, pretty easy and then again I'll label it okay and then uh, with these uh, boxes I can just drag their color in now they already have a, a fill property so you just draw drag that I'll do that name box color and believe it is the slayer Okay, and then I like to just make sure everything that's corresponding with, like, say, the name line, I like to make sure that those are all together. Those are all together, but you can drag and reorder these however you want. Okay, so it's really that easy. We're ready to export motion graphics template. Always asks you to save your project first, so you'll save your project. And then uh, by default, this will a save in essential graphics which is a folder in the directory folder of Adobe After Effects I like to keep my um, file my motion graphics file with all my other files that I'm working on so I'll go ahead and select local drive and then I'll you know select where I want that to save I'll hit OK okay so now that we've done that we just jump into Premiere and Premiere has uh, an essential graphics panel too. If it's not already open, you just go to Windows, Essential Graphics, okay? So then we'll go to the Browse tab, hit this little icon right here, browse to where you saved it. I, I saved mine as Untitled, uh, forgot to rename it. Hit Open. And then you'll see it over here in your list of, the, Adobe has a whole bunch of, um, stock uh, motion graphics templates. Here's my uh, 
template right here that I just created in After Effects. And I can just drag it onto my timeline, drag it over footage, whatever you want to do. There it is, okay? Simple enough. And then I can go right here to edit. And then here I can edit the name. Okay, so I can go over here and I can edit the subtitle. Say it was a title card for, uh, or say the subtitle was for an occupation. Boom. And then just like that. you have a new title and then I can also go and change the color scheme okay cool so that's it it's as simple as that and doesn't take very much time at all and you got this nice motion graphics template that you can give to your editor and he or she can use that change it copy this clip as many times as they want make as many variations on this as they need to um, especially when it comes to lower thirds a lot of times you're using the same lower third and so you need to be able to just quickly um, be able to change that and it really helps because they do not have to jump back into After Effects so they don't need to know how to use After Effects and they will love you for it so hopefully you like this tutorial if you did leave a thumbs up Give me a comment on future tutorials you'd like to see and make sure to subscribe. Thanks, everybody.